hope uh, you're ready for me to have made a, a mistake here. This is Mark the Ninja. This is episode 10, and I made a boo-boo. What was said boo-boo? I forgot to plug in the microphone. So, while talking to myself, I decided that I would, instead of, after, I, mind you, this actually took me reviewing the episode to see if I recorded it, and was going to be very upset if I didn't, because I looked and everything was in the wrong colors and wrong places. Um, I decided that I was going to uh, just r record over it instead of redoing it. I figured show you the first time through, and instead of giving you one where it's like, okay, well, he played through and did this. You're going to find that this happens a lot, um, and it's, it's a bad habit of mine, but, I mean, these things happen... Uh, we are on Path of the Hunter, I believe, and that means that we're restricted to the two different attack items. That's the Spiked Mine and the Hismo Dart, the Terror Dart, which I don't know if I've done this yet, but I have a habit of actually, like, completely destroying that thing. Alright. So just a thought, like, those two never get dirty. And that's one of the weird things that happen. Alright, this must be me tinkering around with uh, the camera or the controller or something. The camera to be specific by using the controller, there we go. But yeah, this level shows off the very, uh, a new mechanic as well. That's right, traps. And they're pretty easy to spot, I mean, there are a couple of them that aren't, like, uh... Yeah, this is me actually figuring out that it's the way you hold the controller because it's got a 3D. Um, yeah, there we go. You can use your Farsight to see them. It's like, I'm going to do that eventually, right? Uh, Farsight will show you all of the traps. The hardest ones to spot, the only ones that aren't really obvious, are the ones that actually look like you can hide behind them. Um, and those ones only blow up. They're like proximity mines, but you have to be touching them proximity. Uh, so that's not a big thing. But you can use them against the enemy. And they just kind of hang there in your way. Throw a dart at them. They fall. You saw that below. Yeah, I'm kind of slow on that. <laughs> As you see, I almost step on them. And this is kind of me figuring out which way I want to go. I mean, I've done the level once, but I don't really want to have to to memorize a path and go through that. I think it would be boring and nobody would like that. Setting off traps just for it. Uh, one thing that this does do, setting off traps does make noise. This is another type of trap. Yeah. Welcome to the introduction stage of the level. To get this cat without actually getting a trap triggered, just go underneath. I'm actually just realizing that now. Yeah. Step two, getting past everything. Now, I wasn't smart enough to realize that by doing that, by throwing that last dart over there, I created it basically imp an impossible way for me to get through there. So, yeah, if you don't want to have to do that, just don't hit the last one. All right. Be safe, be smart. God, you guys don't even know how many of those you're in for. Yeah, me and those traps are not very... I'm not very good at dealing with them. It's it's kind of bad. You shouldn't die too poorly on this level. It shouldn't take you out utterly and completely. But, I mean, it, it is a learning process. You do have to kind of deal with some of these things. So there's our first guy over there. First enemy of the stage. It's one of those people you can get his attention. All right, we made it safely. <laughs> and I'm just kind of being an idiot, if you're wondering. Habit of dropping every single thing under the sun. All right. So, yep. And that car is obviously a trap. As we fail. Even terribly. I mean, it's like I'm just playing all over again. Ah, I should probably get that out of the way. As you can tell, I'm using Windows Media Player. Let me just turn off the mouse. That'll probably be the best way of doing that. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm not high-tech. 
I work in IT, that doesn't mean that I like using IT. <laughs> now, if I had been smart, I would have thrown another dart at that other bomb over there for this guy that was coming across. But, whoa, oh, yeah, this body found him. I'm like, what happened? All right. Yeah, if you throw, if you want to do this the easy way, yeah, there's no way to do that. Yep. I think I find it here. No, I didn't find it. Yeah, they are a lot more agile. And he thinks he saw you. They'll run at you, they'll climb, they'll dodge things. I mean, it's, it's just a matter of time. Come on. Figure it out, Ian. Sure. When in doubt, just go kill him. And most of the game is kind of patience and figuring out where enemies are going, what patterns they take, and kind of adjusting to that. As you can see, there's two things down there. The two cars. Those are most likely, uh, yeah. Boom. There are more traps inside. That's right. Whoop. Yeah. Tons of different things. Look at me being the genius I am. <laughs> Bit off more than I could chew. Sometimes you have to wonder what people are thinking. And for the most part, it's me wondering what I'm thinking. All right. You can see the other guy's footprints kind of far away, even though there's the sand and everything. This is more effort than it's worth. Look at this room. Do you really want to have to go through there? Come on. I don't. Looking at this now, and that was, again, another mistake. Oh, this is going to end poorly. How did I? Wow. I have got to kill myself here. There's no way. There we go. <laughs> It's fun watching yourself make mistakes like that. I mean, if you can't have fun with your own mistakes, where can you have fun? Yeah, those ones will fall. We saw those earlier. Now we have the other traps. You spotted at the edge of town. Can't see through the floor. So yeah, these ones aren't supposed to be uh, the Carjon network anymore. You can see him talking. Hmm. Alright. So, these are basically bandits, warlords, or whatever you really want to refer to them as. That's what they've become. Um, that's what our new enemy is. That's why they're more skilled, more capable, and they are after the mark. They want, they've captured Dosan. Dosan's supposed to give him the mark. Dosan's refusing, so they're torturing him. Which is the premise of this mission. You're, you're supposed to free Dosan. As you can see him there. Spoiler alert. Me and my light fetish. Alright. I got here. The bandit seized me. They tried to make me give them the marks. I refuse. Find the key to unlock these chains, and find the tools they stole from me. All right. Can't cut the chains. Yeah, you can't cut the chains. Well, no crap. Our sword's sharp, but it's not that sharp. All right. So next step: get Dasan's tools. Get the key. Get Dasan out. Remember that bomb for later. Lots and lots of guards. Don't worry. We should be alright. So yeah, this is the first time that you actually get to see them doing stuff. So you see that guy there? You get to see him climb up. It's a little more fluid if you actually use Farsight, but I mean... 
the first time that I really paid attention and realized. Let's get the body. All right. And if they see you, they will come to you. Don't worry. There's not much else that you can do. Some things are a little out of out of the realm of possibilities. For example, they're not going to climb their own height. But you shouldn't be able to climb your own height either, except for the fact that you're a ninja. Look at him laughing. He thinks it's cute. Think you're dead now, buddy. I think that one on the right there is a bomb. Usually if they set up two of them like that, one of them's a bomb and the other one's not. Oh yeah, this is me deciding that I didn't want to go this way. Yeah, you heard something. I heard something. When did this break? Yeah, but when you walked over there and hit the tripwire. Oh god, it's that bomb. Keep that bomb in mind. Oh man. Alright, so over here we have the secret area. Which, because of the mark that I'm using, there's no way for me to actually, like, cheat through this. Um, I'm pretty sure that the first one's the only one that you can cheat through. The other ones kind of expect you to do stuff. Well, I guess I take that back. I mean, yeah, there's no way for you to cheat this one. Yeah, there is. But we'll get out of there. If you have... path, Mark of the Path is, is ridiculously broken, by the way. But that's why it is the last one. The thing is awesome. You can sneak past anything and just kind of abuse it. So, yeah, I decided that I was going to go a different way. That's one. Just wait. I am not the most intelligent person. Alright. Up and out. Ugh. We've managed to get out. Alright. Now there are lights there. There's two guards. We don't want both of them to come down. And as you can see, I'm not going to kill them. I thought I was. I guess we're just sneaking past stuff. Alright. As you can see, our color when we uh, go into the light is white. Smoking gets you killed. Bet you guys didn't know that smoking was bad for you. At least not that bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that happened. I was expecting to be spotted there. Yep. So if you look at the different hanging posts, the ones in reds are the one that will break. It's usually pretty simple. Yeah, there are the three things. So you can always get a, a clue as to where you're supposed to be going, like a generalized concept. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Squirrel power. That's right. Yeah, as you see, that one's red, so the only way to really get up there is to to give them some type of alert. Not exactly what I want to do. Uh, then there's that light that I just almost walked into, which if you didn't notice from there is completely gone. So I have a choice on which way I can go. Yeah, that was me trying to be sneaky. Alright, now we take a look. This is the smartest thing to do. Just look. Look, look, look. Take a look with your eyes. See what you can see. Any way to get past there easily? No. The easiest way is this way. Not squirrel power. Squirrel power will get you so far in life. There we go. Go back up. Go around. Come back down. If you have the path, if you're on the path, it gets a little bit easier, but this way there's only one guard, and the other way there's four. Alright, and as we all know, wow, audio's a little off. 
It's a lot easier to kill one than it is four. Alright. That's really creepy. Now, I wanted to recover that one, but as you see, it just disappeared. Or if you didn't know, it just disappeared. Yeah, I got one spike mine now. And the easy way of killing those guys across the way is to just throw a terror dart. The, one, the first guy will shoot the second guy and then kill himself. You'll have an indirect kill and a tool assisted kill. Alright. The old man. All right. Tools, tools. Who's got the tools? Being on this path really is like the kill everything path. But I'm surprised that his his color is white. Like, why on earth would he be dressed in white on the path? All right. So that's out of the way. Now, I miss the guy that just walked upstairs. Might as well. Now, I could have swore I dropped him on the bomb. But I guess I did not. I also thought that it was clear to go. All right. Yeah, you can't hit the bombs with darts. That's me trying. Shadow jumping. Like a pro. Oh, God. There are three. So as you can see, there's two guys that walk back and forth. One guy who uh, has his own little thing. Yep. Ah, I got spotted. And no, you can't hide there, apparently. So we have to come all the way back out here, which means we have to go back in and do all that again. Don't worry, this is going to happen a couple times. Remember that one. Whew. But we are outside of the light. I guess they were still hoping they could force Dosan to use them. As you see, I've got this path memorized out now. Kitty! I think that's the part that I miss the most. You guys don't get to hear me say kitty all the damn time. That's a person. And I got you, babe. That time I did drop him on the bomb. Still one more person looking. Now, how he doesn't see the guy in white hanging from the bottom of the floor or the next floor, I have no idea. And whoever secured those those holding things, I want to hire them. I want to hire them to build something for me. Huh. Did you see I almost jumped up and did that the wrong way? I hear something. He got some, someone is here. Kill them all. The game has such bad language. At least they don't attribute his death to you. Like, that guy doesn't go ahead and do stuff. Alright. Now that he's terrorized, I just realized these terror darts would be awesome in the in the path of the of nightmares. That one is a bomb. I'm pretty sure of it. I wonder if it is now. Maybe it's not a bomb. Oh, God. Tricks are us. So, 
they let you get one to see how this works. And they show you that you have tools to use with it. What does me and my genius self decide to do? And immediately into trying it again. How many times can I do this? There's two ropes. <laughs> yeah. You know what insanity is? Trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Yeah. Four times. It took me four times. All to get that. It's not even like that was a difficult like puzzle or anything. I think my problem was I just wanted to do it a certain way. Come on. Where are we going? Have I really only found one kitty? I think I found more kitties than that. This is my Metroid sense going, like, there's got to be something else. Oh, I was watching the uh, playthrough of Metroid Other M. And I have to say, that game wasn't nearly as bad as everybody, like, pretended that it was. Like, I actually thought that the gameplay style was pretty good. But at the same time, it was one of those things where it was like, I could understand where people were upset. The game's really linear. You can't sequence break. I mean, it's not Super Metroid is what the problem is, and that's what everybody wants. But imagine if they did Super Metroid. Imagine if they did that, like, Metroid Prime or Echoes or something along those lines. Like, could you imagine how he just absolutely and utterly, like, unfun that would be? Like, first-person shooter. Oh, yay. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Wish you would have shot the dogs, too. I mean, it's not like they weren't right on me. But yeah, like, if you're going to have a 3D Metroid game, I think that the game, the, the style... Yeah, I'm trying to throw the body in there, if you're wondering. Which, I could have done that. Strung him up, hit him with a dart. That would have been pretty decent. That would have been a good way to try it. Like, I would, I would prefer for the Metroid game, if they're going to redo Super Metroid in 3D, to use that style of gameplay and let us go from there. I mean, is it, kitty! <laughs> it's not like we're idiots. We'll figure it out. That was interesting. So I hit him into the bomb. The bomb exploded and killed me, but not him. And then I did that. So this is actually the exit from that point, which is why it was so confusing looking. There's no other way in there outside of the actual entrance, which I already walked away from. Look how smart I am. Then I realized that they left him down, and that was it. So at least that one I like... <laughs> yeah, that scared the crap out of me if you're wondering. The first time, not so much this time. All right, there we go. Be smart, don't be a retard. You're going to take advice from somebody you smacked. Yeah, Eminem quote. All right, come on. Got to get revenge for them shooting me. The dirtiest of revenge, the bat's prey. All right. There's our show of the bomb. And that's you getting to see that you don't fight the shield guards. You run from them. But I did kill the sniper down there. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, he saw my toe. Jeez, all I can think of now is Turtles 4. My toes, my toes. Uh, back to the Metroid conversation. So yeah, the gameplay style, perfectly fine with me.
The story, okay, Samus is a little whiny. I'll, I'll give you that. Samus is extremely whiny. Like, unrealistically whiny. I don't even think any of my exes were as whiny as her in that. But, she can't be perfect all the time. She's not going to live up to everybody's expectations. A little less bitching would have been nice, but I, I can at least deal with it. Like, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't what everybody seems to make it out to be. So, I can do that. Oh, man. You hit me last time. And y you die. That's right. I didn't kill him. We get rid of the light. We squirrel ourselves. So I was trying to decide how I wanted to do this, and I decided I don't want to kill any of them until after I've stolen from them. And then I decided that I was just going to kill him. Look it, there's an icon over his head. Did you notice the icon over his head? <laughs> All right. Yeah, my attempted pseudo hide. <laughs> but yeah, I decided like in the other one because I, I played through the level again. I just forgot to record it. Well, not so much forgot to. Decided that I was gonna do it this way immediately after I started. And when I played through, I, I was sitting there talking to myself, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna kill anybody this level." And then I killed like almost everybody. It was like I said I was gonna be passive. So yeah, there we go. That's uh, the needles. We got the ink. We got the keys. We need the needles. If you're wondering, the sumi is the ink. It's the sumi plant ink. The toxins from the plant. Yeah. That's where I realized that you can't go anywhere or do anything that way. And there you go, watching me waste a Hisumo Terra Dart. So now I have to figure out how to do this the hard way. What? He's here. But he gets the shot. By the way, they shoot harder. Um, the extra armor and everything, I've got that right now. It doesn't matter. Come on, walk over. I need your buddy. Mr. Bubble. Balls will pop out of my mouth. Mr. Bucket. There we go. Mr. Bucket. <laughs> yeah. Worst game ever. Mr. Bucket. It's a bucket that burps balls out of its mouth. And your job is to... Yeah, I'm terrible. But the squirrel I was missing... It's not clear. Yeah. So the premise... And as you see, I threw it in the perfect spot, by the way. The one spot where none of the dogs would go just far... Would go far enough. And the soldiers won't go. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this thing. There we go. Now we have terrorized guard. All right. Now that was not a terror dart, so I don't know why that's going. That was a normal dart. That dog took a beating. Yeah. All for the want of a horse. Okay. 
So yeah, there are a ton of childish games that are absolutely terrible, but that one, like, if you listen to the theme song now, like, a Mr. Bucket balls pop out of my mouth, like, that is not what you want your kid to be thinking. Thankfully, I did not jump onto a bomb. I was thinking that that one would explode. But I haven't actually, uh... I haven't actually done this in a little while. It may seem like tomorrow or two days, which I think I decided, kitty! And I just walked away from the kitty. That's terrible. I didn't even see it. Just walk right up to his face. What's your range? Vision range. Oh, two inches. Oh, really? Because I'm in like half inch range and you died. But yeah, I think I'm releasing these ones every other day at this point. Nobody hears him get beat up. <laughs> Little man, I just beat up and killed your buddy. Oh, God. I remembered. I didn't remember that I'd been there. So, yeah. There go, people. Speaking of uh, games, by the way, sorry, I'm all over the place. Kind of thinking in my head, and for some reason it's not coming out of my mouth. Um, there is no new Metroid game announced yet, which is kind of okay, and at the same time, kind of not. Because, alright, Metroid has a story that's unlike most of the others. I mean, it, it's, it's no Mario. Watch me be a genius. Uh, yeah. I wonder how many other times I can do that. If you want to dodge that, jump over it. Alright, undetected bonus. Yeah, it's, it's not Mario in the sense that, like, Mario can... You can just make a story. You can just have a Mario game. You don't actually have to, like, do any type of input into it. And old Metroid, yeah, that was fine because, you know, nobody knew what the heck was going on anyway. You just knew that there were these things called Metroids and you had to go kill them. Not a bad gig. New Metroid, they all have stories. They're all incorporating other things. I mean, it's it's kind of an event now. Whereas before, it was more so, like, just to do something. It, it was, yeah, there's a bomb. Gotcha. I had to wait for that. Um, old Metroid games, the very first one, the Super, the, or not Super Nintendo one, the Super um, Metroid. You just kind of get put there. Like, I, there's no intro or anything like that. It's it's like the Castlevania games. You just kind of get the story, and you're expected to. Yeah, that was me figuring out that there's more people, and you just got to kind of run with it and take some things for granted and. Yep, can't go that way. And with the newer ones, like Super Metroid was gave you a narrative that was, Hey, how did he see me? How does he not see me now? How did he miss that? Or that? But whatever, all three of them. All three. Now there is an achievement on one of these levels. It's like, kill three illusions or something like that in 15 seconds if I didn't have that one and it's this level I have proof that I did it to quote the kid from Richie Rich now I have proof that's not Richie Rich that's the ki one where the kid has like the cybernetic brain or something like that and he plays it plays him a computer virus through like a fax line and it erases his brain or like all the information of everything, the ability to like see stuff as though it were like computerized. Yeah, I remember that. I've seen a lot of bad movies, okay? It's not fair. Squirrel man, go. But, uh, yeah, so Mario has the ability to, uh, to just kind of have a story. Like, there's no need to actually like, give it backlog. Bowser stole the princess. Well, of course he stole the princess. He's married to princess. That's his wife, by the way. It's hit those, hit that wire, duck. 
jump over. God, I'm going to do it again, aren't I? And jump. No, it requires a jump. It's an obstacle course. That was me just being sick of it. And, okay, so you have that. Like, even the the Zelda games, like the story that they've introduced, it's just like you make up a new mystical thing and call it a day and say that that's the problem. Like, go for it. It's not like there's, you can... It's not like there's like super complicated like random timed events or anything like that because if it is if there is you just make up a whole new universe and you give it a whole new world like the dark world or something like that. So you can kind of make up your own basically game that way for them and they can never run out of these events. I mean, yeah, people may get sick of having to like go get the triforce or save the princess or do things like that. But all these things are always going to be there. They're always those those possible plot holes or plots that can exist, and they're they're never going to get faulted for them. Whereas with Metroid, I mean, first off, according to Metroid, the actual like species is extinct. Yeah, they should have just called the game Samus, and that would have taken care of it, but unfortunately they didn't. Alright. So even though we, uh, no alarms raised, we raised alarms. We I know we raised alarms. They found bodies and raised alarms. Oh wait, they didn't. Yes, they did. Uh, let's see, we distracted a couple. We did some things. I mean, we didn't do that terribly. We were missing one badge on her, so I'll have to come back and finish it later. I still haven't done that, by the way. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, don't like the video. If you want to know when the next one's coming out, let YouTube do the hard work. Subscribe. It'll tell you. All right. But until next time, this is Damian Blackear signing off from Mark of the Ninja. Have a good day.